Atabug limits. Today we are going to discuss about atabug limits. What are the atabug limits? Why we need to learn atabug? What are the different type of limit we discuss on that? All those and much more will be discussed. I'm Prasad from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Atabug limits are the measures of critical water content of fine grain soil. Depending on the water content, fine grain soil can be categorized into four main states: solid state, semi-solid, plastic and liquid state. These are the four main categories of different state of soil. Changes between these stages are called the atabug limits. That is soil changing from liquid to plastic, plastic to semi-solid, semi-solid to solid are called the atabug limit. Namely there are four main limits. Namely there are three main limits. Shrinkage limit that is called SL. Plastic limit we call PL. Liquid limit we call LL. These are the three main limits that we discussed today on the Atterberg limit. These are the Atterberg limits. These limits are defined based on the change the soil states to different stages. Atterberg limit can be used to distinguish between different types of silt and clay. This is used for classifying the soils. Both the classification systems, unified system or astro system, use these Atterberg limits to classify soil with combination of other methods. As you can see here also, these are the different stages of the soil. These stages are we call the that limits. These are the Atterberg limits, liquid limit, plastic limit and shrinkage limit. So these we identify these limits in the border or in the position we change the state of the soil. Let's see what are the limits in detail. Liquid limit. The moisture content in percentage at which soil change from liquid to plastic stage. Liquid to plastic stage change is called the liquid limit. If we elaborate this further, liquid limit is the moisture content at which fine grain soil no longer flow like a liquid. That is, fine grain soil no longer behave like a liquid is called the liquid limit. Plastic limit. The moisture content in percentage at which the soil change from plastic to semi-solid state as we discussed previously uh, soil changing from plastic to semi-solid state we call the plastic limits in other words the plastic limit is the moisture content at which fine grain soil can no longer be molded without cracking that also we can consider as the plastic limit and also in testing we use this method to recognize these Limit. Shrinkage limit. The moisture content percentage at which soil change from semi solid state to solid state. As we discussed previously, also change semi solid to solid state called the shrinkage limit. In other words, shrinkage limit is the moisture content at which fine grain soil no longer change volume upon dry. Any loss of moisture is compensated by the entry of air into the pores. So, when water evaporated, these cavities or these holes will be filled with air and the volume of the soil or this mix won't be changing. This is called the shrinkage limit that is actually transformation to the semi solid to solid strain. So we today discuss about the atabug limits, different limits that is occur from changing the soil states that is liquid to plastic, plastic to semi solid, semi solid to solid state. These are the main points that we identify the atabug limits. With that, we end today's discussion. Today we discuss about atabug limit. I hope that you came to know about the atabug limits. Let's meet again for a new video. Thank you very much for watching our videos.